in your practice, your patient comes in, you make a particular diagnosis or put them on a regimen for treatment and they come back the next appointment and go, hey doc, I'm not gonna take that prescription. My brother, he went on a WebMD and he said, I don't need to do that. What would you say? This is tricky because you certainly don't want to, especially if someone's family, brother or uncle or their best friend, you don't want to discount them. But at the end of the day, oftentimes I will draw analogies back to what people do for a living. For example, if that happened and my client was a doctor, I would ask them, in your practice, your patient comes in, you make a particular diagnosis or put them on a regimen for treatment and they come back the next appointment and go, hey doc, I'm not going to take that prescription. My brother, he went on a WebMD and he said, I don't need to do that. What would you say? <laughs> well, yeah, that's silly. Why? This is not my hobby. I don't do insurance and invest for fun. I've been doing this for 22 years. I've had a meeting like the one I'm having with you right now, 30,000 times. Don't ask me about politics. Don't ask me about global issues. Don't ask me about cars. I don't know it. I know this. I know a lot about a little bit, and this is my little bit. So I respect the opinion of your brother. I respect the opinion of your uncle. I would actually suggest that you have them call me and I'll set them straight and they probably actually become clients as well. Because this is the one thing that I want to make sure you understand. Do not confuse someone being successful with being a good planner. Two different things. Oh, no, 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 but you don't understand my brother. Man, he's a freaking top trial lawyer in L.A. So what does being a top trial lawyer in LA have to do with understanding life insurance or investments or estate planning? This is all I do. And what I want you to have confidence in, I don't care if you've been in this business for 10 years or 10 months, you know more than 99% of the general public right now, 10 months in, two months, in, understand that. And the key, do you know everything about everything? No. Do I know everything about everything? No, I'm not going to say I know everything about everything. I don't have to know everything. I don't have to be perfect. I just have to be better than what you know. I don't know. That's all. So that's how I would handle the situation.